welcome. I'm Bio, and today we're looking at some more modern Beyblade video games. Modern is a, is a stretch, by the way, so in case you're wondering what the modern means, it's basically anything that was released 2010 or more. So anything that's after 2010. So kind of basically, like, I guess most people nowadays, if, they, if you're my age, right, late 20s, um, if you have any familiarity with Beyblade, it's probably the one is, uh, you know, the um, the original series. Which it? It goes, the, yeah, just the original Beyblade series with maybe, I don't know, G Revolution and stuff like that. This is Beyblade Metal Fusion Battle Fortress for the Nintendo Wii. I always thought that Bey these Beyblade characters, like some of the earlier Beyblade characters, look like kind of like normal. But I feel like with like later Beyblade, they've they've gone with like let's make this hairstyles and characters look as Yu-Gi-Oh as possible. I don't know. Do, do you, am I the only one that thinks that? Okay, are we are we going into the Beyblade battle? Babble Blade. Yes, we're going into Babble Blade. Here we go. Aim during the countdown, then yank the Wii Remote back and shout, "Let it rip!" I'm pressing something that's making something happen. Swing the... Oh my god, there's so much motion controls in this. This is like, I can't play this. He's gonna knock me off. Well, it's Beyblade. I'm pressing something. Oh no! Apparently I'm not allowed- Alright, just fucking kill my character. I've already had enough of this, if I'm honest with you. It, it's not- it's not good. Okay. It's just like a never-ending Beyblade battle, if I'm honest with you. Well, it is, isn't it? So it's just going on and on. I don't feel like health is going down. And it keeps telling me that I press the A and buttons together while- Oh, while swinging! While swinging for a special move. Well, that all right. Okay, I didn't see the while swinging the Wii remote. So this game requires a lot of motion controls, and because obviously, you could say, "Oh, why don't you just get your like?" I don't know where my my Nintendo Wii remote is. I don't know where it is. I did, I did have a knockoff, like uh, like. Second, not second, knockoff. I did have a. I don't know what the fact. It is a knockoff, isn't it? it I, had, I had a knockoff, knockoff Wii remote. Obviously not Nintendo, and that just wouldn't work on PC. It just kept losing signal, and it didn't work as intended. So the only one that works is the Nintendo Wii remote. Now I don't know where mine is. It's it's lost in the void somewhere. I don't know where. And I'm not willing to go and just buy another one because they're just stupidly expensive. So. <laughs> Okay, so this is our second Beyblade game we're looking at, which is uh, which is another Metal Masters Bla Beyblade game, and actually is literally called Beyblade Metal Masters for the, the Nintendo DS. Now I know it says Bakushin Susa now, but I managed to find like the, like this collector's edition of this game, so that's what the version I'm playing, the collector's edition. Not don't know what difference that makes besides it having Bakushin Susa now on the um, title screen. This is the American version, so... Oh. Oh. Did he... I, I lost immediately. Fantastic. I just changed the screen. Wow. Wow, that was a quick battle, wasn't it? That was immensely quick. Okay. Okay, so this is a little bit of a weird one, really. So, in case you're wondering... So, th yeah, this one is a weird one. It's a weird one solely because... Like, it doesn't play like I would expect a Beyblade game to play. It's like you're kind of stationary. you got to move the Beyblade yourself. You don't... So, like, the Beyblade games I'm familiar with playing as a kid... Or even, like, or, like a couple of years ago... Like, the Beyblade swings around the arena, and you just kind of have to... Yeah, it swings around the arena, and you just kind of have to, um... 
you get you, you you get a general like the directional buttons kind of help you guide your Beyblade, but it doesn't give you full control over it. Get wrecked. Well, this time around, we're we're really. And there we go, boys. We've we've beaten we've beaten the Baba Babble Blade. We've done it. We've won. See. Two battles, and on the third battle we win. Again, it's just a, it's a learning experience. So the A button attacks, and you kind of just move your character around. It's a little bit strange, if I'm honest with you. A bit strange. But that's basically how the whole entire game's going to play. Maybe that's why mo more people enjoyed the game. Maybe it's because you had full control of your Beyblade. But it feels like the speed that Beyblade had is now gone because of it. So next up, we have Beyblade Evolution, which I, I think is like the first like Western released Beyblade game for the 3DS, I think. Again, don't quote me on that, I think. What? I want you to keep in mind, I, have n I had no clue what the fuck I was doing there. I somehow won, and I don't even know how I won. And that was so shit. I had no control over the fucking Beyblade, at least I don't think so. It's a bit in difficult to say. So this is the bottom screen. Something about spirit and fucking functionality or something. And I keep saying I'm a little late, but I'm guessing I'm playing as the one... I'm, I'm blue. And then Red's dead again. My stamina keeps going, and I keep fucking... I don't know what's happening. I keep winning somehow, and I don't even know how I'm winning. What a weird Beyblade game. Like, what am I... Am I sp supposed to click on this? Like, my stamina is just massively more than the other dudes. And now my spirit's at, like, level one. And he's dead. He's dead. He's fucking dead again. I don't even know how he's dead, but look, he's dead once again. Because when I, even though I don't think I'm actually doing anything, and it, it keeps coming up a little late, I'm still somehow winning every time. Very strange. Okay, so this is Beyblade Burst. So this is the main character. I'm not familiar with Beyblade Burst at all, but then again, I said that about Metal Masters. It is what it is. That is good enough, I guess. And now, again, we've got another meter. See, but I prefer this. I prefer the timing meters than it is with, like... And it's quite obvious where you're supposed to get the timing. Three, two, one, go. Like, that was fine. And now... And boom! Wow, that was a very quick Beyblade battle. I just completely destroyed him in all of two seconds. I guess because the timing was okay. And now we're going to battle two. Alright, so I'm going to pick over here. But once again, this is another Beyblade game where it's kind of... I think it's kind of luck. And there we go. But once again, it is literally another Beyblade game where you have no control and it kind of just spins around. But... You don't have no control. You do. You have some little bit of control in how powerful... So it's all down to the timings, right? It's all down to the timings of the meters. But once that's happened, you, that's it. You know, boom. Yeah, once that happens... By the way, it looks like there's, a, a, there's attacks in the game as well. Okay, the game just keeps getting um, automatically better. So what does this do then? Oh, it activates a special... And there we go. We beat him. Once again. I'm more I'm in I'm liking this game quite a bit, and it sucks that this game was a Japanese exclusive, mainly because I think Burst is just not really represented outside. I don't think they actually released this series in English. It's really too bad. This this game seems to be 
the best Beyblade game I've seen thus far. And that's even ba um, going off of what I've seen previously. Um, with older Beyblade games. Okay, so here we have the final Beyblade game I'm going to be looking at for modern Beyblade video games. And that game is Beyblade Burst Battle Zero for the Switch. Now, I actually own this game. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually own this game. And I'll maybe flash up some screenshots of me holding the game and some things. It comes with a Beyblade, obviously. Most of these Beyblade video games come with a Beyblade. And I picked this game up when I was in Taiwan. I picked it up for like 15 bucks, I think, in Taiwan. Obviously, it works on the Switch, because um, Switch is region free anyway. Let's go. We've got the hair. <laughs> the boy with the hair. Versus Bancho Boy, which both of them have orange Beyblades. Are these like brothers? They look like brothers, actually. Are they brothers? They actually do look like brothers. Alright. Okay. Oh, it's... Oh, dope. If it... Yes! Oh, it's giving me, like, tutorial controls. There we go. It is exactly the same. What the? It's giving me a tutorial. Fantastic. Alright, here we go. Oh god! Here we go! They're going! Babble Blade. Oh, what the fuck? I have no clue. I have because no they're both orange. I don't know who won that. Oh, I won that. Fantastic. But it is very similar. It is extremely similar to the 3DS game, and I I have no issue with that. Yeah, that's fine. So it gives you like an idea, or you can like send it. I guess like that. We'll try it from the angle at this angle. And then you just got to get it in the middle again. Ooh, this, this battle is interesting, so I'm kind of like spinning around while he's just... Just go... Oh. Yare! Let's see how you like this. Oh. Nice try with that. Not gonna win with that. Oh, he beat me! He actually beat me! He managed to stop me from spinning. Interesting. Fair enough! I, I'll give it credit. Fair enough. Obviously, his Beyblade's much more accustomed or better than the one I'm using. But this game, this this is... Yeah, no, this is actually decent. I like this. It's just, impro it's just an improvement. There's more going on. There's more actions you can take. I have no issue with this Beyblade game. This is this is how, what Beyblade should be, and it sucks balls that they had to just. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. It sucks balls that this game was a Japanese exclusive, because it is. It, it's just. It's just a really good Beyblade game. Like, who would think that you would actually have a fucking good Beyblade game that makes sense? Like, the controls make sense. It plays well, and it's actually quite. Like engrossing, like like the reason why I don't see really say much is because I'm actually engrossed into the game. I'm actually like really getting into the game itself. But it sucks that it's only in um it's only in Japanese. Even if I had like a just a English subtitles, I would love it. I would play the hell out of it.